welcome to the show. If you want to call in tonight and ask a question, the phone number is 845-277-9131. Hey, Marla, do you want to answer questions with me or are you still working? If Marla wants to jump on and answer with us, then you have two, I count them, two, Dewey, dose. I, I, that's all the languages I know, number two, and um, people reading for you, but she might still be working. I know she had quite a packed night, and she's getting ready to fume travel in in no world, and no person is this, the, the travel <laughs> symbol, <laughs> unless you're flying <laughs> with your arms. Oh, my gosh, I cracked my ass. Uh, my butt up. Okay, call in, Marla. Um, yeah, um, call in 845-277-9131. And then uh, give me your area code, and I will know who to pick up on, that I can pick up on you, and we'll take we'll take uh, calls together. Um, how do I call in? Yeah, just call 844 844- 845, no, sorry, don't call it 845-277-9131. Hey, everybody, Marla's joining us. Yay. So when you're asking question today, Marla will be maybe flipping cards and giving answers, and I'll be giving answers. So two for the price of none. <laughs> oh, gosh, the life we live, right? Okay. So... Okay, excellent, Marla. As soon as you call in, I'll click on you. And everybody, um, first and foremost, I I will never, never ever, there she is. I'm going to put her on in a second. I will never ever um, on any social media, I will never ever reach out to you and say, hey, hey you need a reading. Hey, um, you, you send me a cash app. I don't even have cash app. Marla had to explain to me what Ben, Ben, venue is not venue venmo venmo is and i don't i don't like a lot of different things like that so if somebody says that it trust me it is not me unless i directly tell you that over the phone i don't do um i don't do that so please don't get scammed just whatever you do do not get scammed if you've called in to ask a question and the call in number is 845-277-9131 and you want to ask a question or connect with the loved ones on the other side, just make sure you have pressed one so that uh, we can, we can, I can know that you have a question and we can, um, yeah, we can connect with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to pull Marla in now. Mala, 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 mama, 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 mala. I thought I could pull it. There we go. Hello. Hey, girl. What's up? Hello. Hey. Marla's getting ready to go hey to girl. Boston. Yay. How fun. I got my Halloween Oracle cards ready for people. Awesome. Yay. Yay, yay, yeah. yay. Yeah, I'm going, to Salem. I'm going to Salem, Massachusetts. Which city, you guys? Which city? Yeah. Mm. Going on Sunday. Yes, Marla's a little witchy. She likes being witchy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she does. I like being the witchy woman. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, guys, I am going to. <laughs> yeah, it is fun, Heather. Um, I'm going to c- c- connect with the first caller. So when I say your area code, please say your name and where you're calling from. And you guys, I posted this show a little late today because I wasn't sure what time I'd be done with callers and such. So if we need to, I'll read for Marla. Marla can read for me. It's just a very, oh, people are calling now. Marla, it looks like no reading for me. (laughs) Um, But people are calling now. We'll have to do that later. Exactly. It's going to be such a casual kickback show tonight. A lot of fun. I'm not worried about turning this into the TV station. We're just going to have fun. But if I do turn it in, I do. So I'm going to try not to swear a lot on it. Okay. So here we go. (laughs) It's so hard not to use my second language of French all the time. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go to 780. 780, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. It's Gee, it's Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for taking my call. It's for <laughs> Friday. What are you doing on Friday night here? Usually it's Wednesday. <laughs> I know, but apparently this girl and marla girl had nothing going on on friday the 13th so we're like let's pop, pop in a show for everybody let's see who else is sitting up and you know i'm gonna tell you um where i live it's been cold and rainy and windy all day long i mean all day long so yeah, it's crazy. It's icky outside. I don't even want to go out right now. So Jay, uh, what's going on? What What's your question or connection today? My question, hey Marla, just to say hi to you too. And hey uh, there, yeah, hey. Um, hey there. I do have a question. Jay or Jay? Oh, okay. Jay. Go ahead. Sorry. J Jay, Jay with a Jay. Jay. I have a <laughs> I'm sorry. I do have a question, and actually, it's for general, it's for everybody, actually. I've been talking to my spiritual friends and myself. Personally, I've been actually feeling kind of like, like dizzy, but not dizzy, uh, like off balance. I was talking to my other friends about that. They had the same the same thing going on, too. And I, and I go, like, I had a friend in Vancouver, same thing. It's like, they were doing uh, the kind of thing balance and not themselves. And I was talking to another family that lives close by, same thing. So was there, was there a, a solar anomaly or what was going on or was there a shift in consciousness or what was going on with that? Cause I don't think was, this is a coincidence. I think it was, it was so, for everybody and maybe that was provoking I'm emotions gonna, and things like that. So I just wondered about yeah, that. Yeah, Jay, I'm going to say something. That. I'm going to say something and this is a, this is a joke and for those of you who know you know this is a test of the emergency broadcast system and that's all I can say on that. <laughs> and for those of you who know you know and those of you who don't someday you will but Jay beyond that what I can say to help with that and I'm going to say this again YouTube has changed its rules on what we can say regarding anything um yeah. medicinal or anything so i cannot give out medical advice any longer but i would say um find a way to um poo more because <laughs> i can't use the other okay. word that i really want to use <laughs> Okay, so what's the cold word you're using? Poop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to clean out your body and poop. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. You got it, you get it, you got it. Good. Okay, that's what I would say. Yeah, um, okay. And if anybody wants to go to the app they keep trying to take down, um, there are videos on there that will show what the emergency broadcast system warning, what it was so kind of them to put that test of the emergency broadcast system out. I, how thoughtful of them. I love that they did that. And what I would say is there was a woman who did, who showed a Petri dish with some things in it and it was, very very telling and i would try to find that that if you were yeah this can never go on tv folks but here we're just having fun so um i would try to find that video and see see if you if that's not helpful for you and marla did you want to weigh in on that and remember youtube standards yeah, now yeah. say we can't give any yeah, but... any medical right. thing that so... yeah okay go ahead Right. So, so, so Jay, I did pull some Oracle cards and, um, yeah, there, ha you know, there have been some, uh, solar flares. Uh, we have, uh, a new moon today. There's an eclipse tomorrow. We've got, um, yep. Halloween coming and there's been a lot of energy and I pulled regeneration. Um, also the death card 
the hearth and the graveyard comes up and it's that is also regenerating just like um tony said regenerating the body uh looking into some stuff that'll really clean clean things out raise your frequency uh death is just a cycle that that uh is over and then and the graveyard put those things to rest and we're all really renewing and and i feel like for 2024 we've got to step up and be the people that we really have been thinking okay anything you've been putting off whether it's you know health wise or getting to the gym or think projects that you want to do also um really making your home space the way you want it to be and i just feel yeah a lot of everybody's connected um there are a lot of pollutants uh in the environment uh air land water everywhere <laughs> so we want to clear out but also it is the, it is also that shift and so very spiritual people will feel it. And so I feel that you're a very tuned in guy and uh, you're, you are moving to another higher level of yourself into another frequency. Um, so I hope that was helpful. And it was actually, I just wanted to get a, ex- go ahead. Um, I was going to say, Hey, Marla, um, you had mentioned a product yeah. earlier in one of your things to me. What just the name of that product without oh, yeah. what it does don't, yeah um uh spike support i recommend spike I, support. I'm, yeah, yeah. I, i'm gonna get it i recommend if you know you get it um we we're really not gonna say what it does we can say who it's by but you can research it yourself and see if it's something that fits your what you feel comfortable with and marla do you know who makes it um, there's somewhere called, uh, oh yeah, it's the wellness company. It's okay. www.twc.health. Okay. Uh, okay, TWC. I know you would buy it. Yeah, yeah spice I know you support do. formula. That? Yeah, well, wellness thing. You could just, you could just Google that. I take that. I take it. It's got a lot of great stuff in there. So Irish Is it, on, with the... green tea. Huh? Okay. Okay, the wellness. Okay, I think I know what it is. it with the, that doctor from Texas? Is that where you? What is? Is that the website? I don't. I don't know who's who's it is, but about us, okay. our mission, leadership. Anyway, but it's got great stuff in there. See, it has uh, sea moss and green tea extract, black black sativa, selenium, dandelion root, nat natto kina is. Okay, I, I know who it is now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that doctor's gonna be actually coming through our province, actually. So oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's the founder and chairman, Foster Coulson. Cool, Coulson. Well, there's some different doctors. I know. Yeah, there's different doctors that have that kind of stuff. But that that's great. Just anything. And I've been taking that sea moss too. Sea moss has got so many minerals and stuff in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. okay. Um, it's, fun. Right. It's, fun. it's fun finding new products to support our immune system. Yeah, well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I wish, listen, nobody loves that stuff more than me, really, but I, I'm gonna, mm-hmm. we're gonna quit, we're gonna stop right there just in case because. If they give you three okay. strikes, yeah, we don't want to get in trouble. If even with one strike, yeah. they'll just take one show down, and then three strikes, they'll take okay. your channel down. So we're just gonna. And we have nothing to do with that. We we have nothing to do with that company. We're not recommend. We're just. It doesn't matter like it, yeah, yeah, if yeah, it goes yeah, against their. Really we're not telling anybody else to take it. Yeah, but if it, yeah, it, it okay. here's yeah. here's how it works. If you say anything that goes against what they believe medically they'll strike you. Yeah. It doesn't matter what right, context yeah, you're yeah. saying it in anymore because we live in free speech. This is what they're doing now. So we have to, like, I just want to yeah. be really careful for my channel. That's all. And it's sad that yeah, yeah, yeah. that that's the case, but it is where we are. I know a good friend of mine, Peter G, somebody called into his show and said something on his show and his show was, stri- he got a strike and they took that show off. And he didn't even say it. Somebody else yeah. did. And it was something so ridiculous. So I just want to be really careful. Um, so, uh, Jay, I hope that was really helpful for you. I hope that was um, what you needed today. I hope that you find that very, very uh, enlightening. 
It was, yes. Thank you much. Thanks for much the insight. Uh, I'll tell my friends about what's going on and, uh, yeah, help them do this in clearing too. So, awesome. You are so, great. so Thank you. Great talking to you, Tony and yeah. Marla. And, uh, Thank you. Uh, we'll talk to you Thanks, soon. Jay. Take care and have a okay. beautiful, grateful night with everybody else. On the Thank line. you. Take care. Absolutely. You. you too, Jay. Uh -huh. Okay. I want to say hey to Lolly. Lolly just joined the show. Thanks for being here, Lolly. We are going to go to 856. If you have a question in the chat, you can post your question in the chat. Marla and I will answer it. If you want to call in and connect with a loved one on the other side, it's 856. Nope, that's the next caller. Sorry. It's 845-277-9131. Eight, eight, Here we go to 856. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Rose Maria. How are you? From New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. And what's your first name? Uh, Rose Maria. Rose Maria. Okay. How can we help you? Uh, whatever you can pick up that's coming up. For a long term relationship with the lunar moon thing tomorrow. If that's going to happen. <laughs> Marla? What was your question? What's coming up with the lunar moon? Okay, sweetie, I need to ask you a huge favor, sweetie. Um, can you please enunciate or talk just a little bit clearer? Because there's two people on the phone. It's coming through a speaker phone. So if you could just ask that question a little bit more clearly, that would be amazing. If a long-term relationship is going to happen with this lunar moon coming up tomorrow. Okay. The first thing... Uh, are, you in a, are you in a relationship? Oh, go ahead, Tony. No, no uh, Marla wants to know, are you in a relationship right now? Uh, not that I know of. Okay, so... Not that I'm aware of. I, the first thing I hear while Marla's shuffling, the first thing I hear is you need to get out of the house more. You need to um, put yourself out there more. You need to get into different environments. So if you want a different type of relationship with a different type of person, you really have to get out and get into different environments or different groups of people. And you have to dress like you want to... So here's a thing, and I'm I'm gonna kind of <laughs> lolly. Um, I'm gonna try to explain this in an extreme way so everybody can understand it. If and sweetie, I'm, you have some background noise, so I'm just gonna mute you just for a second. But please don't hang up because Marla is gonna give you her answer. Here's what I'm gonna say: if you if you want to meet somebody and you want them to be different, you have to show up the way you want your person to be. So if you want, let's just say, for example, a CEO, you better be showing up looking like a girl or a guy a CEO would date. Not that you wouldn't, sweetie. Not that you wouldn't. Um, or, you know, if you always meet the same type of people in the same type of place, the biggest message I'm getting for you is you have to get out and you have to go to, to new places. Okay, Marla, go ahead and read for her and then we'll pull her back on at the end because she had a lot of background noise. Yeah, there was a lot of background noise. Oh my gosh, Tony, it was so funny when you said something about dress. I The same thing had come into my mind. I wanted to ask. Rose Maria, if she's happy with her current wardrobe, are you happy with your body right now? Do you need an updated hairstyle? Do you need to start working on yourself um, to feel more feminine and sexy? Do you need to go buy some new lingerie? I always like to say it's, it's um, kind of like there is a saying in the Bible, dig your ditches and get ready. So are you, if you were in a long-term relationship, if you have nice, beautiful sheets on the bed, do you have some nice underwear? Is there a drawer for him to put his stuff in if, you, if he was to come into your life? Are you ready? And are you the person that you want to be? Do you need to work on a few things that you kind of let slip is all I'm saying. Um, so that came in. And so you can get that expectant energy, get ready for him and, and have that energy. No, 
just tells the universe, I know he's coming in and I'm ready for it. And uh, on top of that, Marla, I'm going to say how you look 90% of the time, like when you go out in public, how you look is exactly how you feel about yourself. And you're going to get guys that treat you the way you look. And I'm saying guys in this case, because she is a woman. And, and if you're looking for a partner that wants to, and this is just true of all of us, even us women, when we look at men, depending on how they're dressed is how we are going to categorize them. So if there's a guy who's looking like he's homeless and disheveled and not wearing work boots, we're going to be like, that's a hard pass unless, unless that's your thing. Unless, and if it is, God bless you. Um, but if we're, if we're looking at a guy who's, let's say in a button down shirt and, uh, dress pants, we're going to look at that guy differently and we're going to think he's put together a little bit more, uh, more better, more better. Uh, he's put together a little bit better. And it goes the same way for us. We can't be out there looking like we're in Walmart and our pajamas and expect a CEO to be like, that's there. That's the one I've been looking for. Not going to happen. We, <laughs> We have to dress like the person that we want, kind of the relationship that we want. And okay, wearing, I went to, I, I, I'm not even going to go into that story, but we really do. If we don't want a guy to pick us up when we look our worst, because that's not a guy in our, in our thing. That's a guy that sees us looking down and says, oh, I got a shot with that. We want to be looking our best and above so that they can come in and they can be, they can, they say, okay, this woman takes care of herself. This is the one I want. Okay, Marla, I'm going to bring, did you have, did you have anything else you wanted to say to her? Cause I'm going to bring her back that on. Was it. That was all I had to say on, okay. on that. But I feel that somebody will come in once, once you do that. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say to you, Rosemaria. I'm bringing you in, but if the background noise is loud again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to mute you again. I do feel like in November, you have the potential to meet somebody. I don't think you should go with this person. I don't feel like they're a very high quality person. I feel like they're very um, dramatic and abusive and they play a lot of games and I do feel like they're going to have somebody else so this is kind of a warning for you if you so if somebody comes in in November um, they're going to come off like very casual and they're going to kind of tease you and make you kind of um, make you guessing if they're really interested just 86 that person I don't care how bored you are when somebody's playing a game with you, and I cannot be more clear about this, if it starts off like a game, listen, I'm not a game, I'm not a pawn, we're not, we're not playing. This is real life, we want real life relationships. So if you don't play with this, this will just make you bitter about partners. But in January, in January, there's the potential for somebody brand spanking new, never met before to come in. And this person has really good potential. I feel like between now and January, just work on everything with yourself. And you're going to be really happy with that. Okay, Rosemaria? Okay. Okay. I hope this was helpful for you, love. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. I just want to say this and I think everybody listening, Hey, um, simply massage. How are you? I just want to say this, the better we feel about ourselves, the less we put up with from the, our part from a potential partner. And that's why some partners come in and try to like get you under their thumb and like make you feel bad about yourself. Don't allow that. Don't, don't, don't allow that. Okay. 
Um, Lisa, Lisa, 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. Absolutely call in. Um, we have a question on the chat, Marla. I'm sure you can read it too if you're still on the chat. Hi, Tony. My godmother, Ellen, just passed. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Does she have any messages uh, she wants to share? Um, so um, for those just joining me, Marla Martinson, the mystical magic magic maker, the mystical mystical i am not drinking i promise you i am not drinking marla martinson the mystical matchmaker and very yes thank you for printing it out marla um uh, and very very witchy beautiful friend of mine is also doing readings and she does tarot and she does take tarot sessions also so if you you want to get if you want to get her you want to get her <laughs> you can get her um so both of us will be answering whoever we take questions from this evening so um simply massage can you please put your first name well we don't need your first name we'll just call you simply um marla do you want to go first or should i her grandmother ellen just passed Oh, her grand godmother, godmother. Okay. Her godmother. I'm, gonna, I'm so sorry. Um, Thank you for correcting me. Yeah, Ellen. It feels like um, they're, they're showing me something like a new, uh, before she died, did she get a new refrigerator? Was there something going on with the refrigerator or freezer or something? That's just coming up. There's something with the kitchen. Um, and she's saying she wants you to do, she wants to um, uh, let you know to choose your friends wisely. She wants she wants you to know that you are so special and that you are so loved. And sometimes you would get down on yourself and just feel a little bit, you know, not appreciated or something. But the angels are appreciating you. Your spirit guides are appreciating you. She's appreciating you and for everything that you did for her and for your sunny personality. Thank you, um, Marla. That's what came true. And um. Simply, if you could confirm anything Marla said. Now, I'm going to give you the message as I'm getting, and they may be a little bit different. And um, however they fit, I'm not going to give them definition because you should know what they mean. And if you don't, if you talk to somebody, you should know what they mean after you say, oh, a psychic said this. And they'll say, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. So the first message I'm getting is actually a song, and it's up all night sleep all day so either her or somebody else either she was or her clock was turned or somebody else's that's the message i'm getting from that i don't think that was one of her favorite songs to be perfectly honest the next message that i'm getting from her is take your time just take take your time don't rush through this don't try to rush through this now, this could mean the whole process with her and what is going on with her. It could also mean something else going on in your life. And there's a work change coming in for you. There's a work change coming in for you. And for some reason, um, I, my, I'm my i getting this weird little mm, talk or accent or whatever, like this little like, oh, just take your time. Not that she talked like that and not that I could ever... I can't even sing. I don't know how I think I can imitate somebody's accent or the way they talked, but uh, whatever is going on, take your time. And there's something coming in with work for you. There's going to be a change with work. There's, but it's a good one. It's a good one. Stop. Don't, don't slow your heart down, slow your heart down. It's a good change. And it's going to be a change that you really like and you've been looking forward to. So simply, if you could just confirm some of these messages for us, we would really appreciate that. And um, you guys tonight, be, I only have an hour on the call log, but afterwards I'm going to stay on and answer some questions for people. So I'll go longer on YouTube than I am on the call log. So we might take callers before we go um, with the answering. But, you know, my stereo, I've been, maybe I'm still saying it wrong. I think it's Mysterio 
Stereo. Yeah, Miss Stereo. And then I read it this afternoon. I'm like, oh no, it's my stereo. And now I'm looking at it again. And I think it's Miss Stereo. <laughs> How do I make it through a day in my life? I don't know. Nobody does. Um, I can't even read a name. Um, we will get to you next in the chat. Please remind us you're the next question. I am going to go to uh, Marla209. Um, 209, what's your name and who, uh, where are you calling from? Tony, it's Cindy. How are you? Good, good, good. How can I help you tonight, love? Um, I'm just curious if my mom's got any messages regarding life. Okay, what's your mom's first name, love? Amy. Amy, uh, Marla, do you want to go first? Hi there. Um, it feels like Amy, um, I don't know if she was into health foods or anything like that. And I just did a petite, some, some petite woman. Is she, was she petite? Kind of. Somebody's petite is coming forward. Somebody petite who was into health foods. I don't know if that's her, but that's somebody stepping forward. Um, so that's all, that's all I'm getting. Tony, you go. That's what okay. I'm getting. Is somebody talking about health health food. Okay, sweetie. What's what? Uh, Cindy, what's your mom's name again? I'm so I'm so so sorry. Amy. Amy. Okay. So the first thing that I'm getting from Amy is she wants to. Yeah, you know what? I think it has something to do with the way you're eating, and she wants you to. Um, Marla, I'm just confirming what you're saying is. She wants you to like pick and choose your foods a little more. Uh, I don't want to say carefully, but like more um, be be a little fussier or pickier with your foods. And that doesn't necessarily mean health foods. That could just mean making sure it could mean anything. You are going to know what that means. The next thing that she wants to say to you is to make sure that you're taking Okay, take time for yourself and don't allow others to push you around so much. Allow yourself to be in a space where you are standing your ground or, and or um, standing in what you think or believe or in a way sticking up for yourself. Make sure that you're not letting people um, to push you in a direction that you don't want to go or saying things that just don't feel good to you. If somebody is uh, speaking to you in a way that you are not appreciating or is not in alignment with goodness, it's okay to just walk away. There's nothing that says you have to sit and listen to it. Also, she is saying find healthy dynamics to be in, meaning with friends, family, whatever. You know, I'm, I'm just going to say this. And when I say I, it's really her and the group of people that she has come in with. The next thing that they want to say is, it doesn't matter what you call somebody, what their title is, sister, a brother, husband, wife. Um, it does not give them a, a ability or a right to in any way disarm you or speak to you in any way that you would not let a stranger speak to you. Uh, they should be m most kind with you. And if they cannot, then they just don't deserve your presence. They just do not deserve your presence. They do not deserve to be in that space where they get to have you in their life. And a lot of times when people speak to people like this, it's because they want to make sure that you stay below them, at least in their heads, heads, their little heads. Um, so this is really important for her to bring through for you. Now, if this isn't going on right now, it might be something that is coming in very soon for you. So please be aware that if somebody starts talking as they would say some of the people out of pocket or incorrectly or disrespectfully to you, turn around and walk away because you are not too, you are not being punished and you do not need to be corrected. And that's exactly what she would like to say to you. And I, I'm like, um, 
like, boy, she wasn't going to play around with that message. She just came right in and channeled it through for you, Cindy. I, I hope I, 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 I'm <laughs> all of that comes through so, so eloquently. And then Tony takes back over her mouth and there's nothing but stuttering. I hope that was helpful. Love. Okay, thanks. You you are so so welcome. Okay, uh, Marla, are you ready for another one? I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Six four six. What's your name? Oh, hey Tony, how are you? Good. It's it's Stacy. Hey Stacy, we're on the line with Marla also. Hi, Marla. How are you? Hi, Stacy. Happy Friday the 13th. I hope you're doing well and having a magical night. Yes, I am, and the weather's really good where I am. Oh, so, so, yeah. Steph, what's your question? Yeah. Okay. I, I think I know the answer to it, but I know you guys are like the best. So, I think I, I already know the answer, but I just want to just be sure. Okay, so I have to start a law. I have to start a case. I have a legal case that I have to start. So I can do it either. I'm going to submit the paperwork online, but I can do it either two ways. I can pay out of pocket, or I can do the poor man like get a wait, try to get a waiver fee. The waiver fee, I don't know. It's like I rather just pay. You know. Um, it's like, okay, so I'm gonna just, I, I think I'd rather just, just pay up front to start the case. It's like, if I pay out of pocket, it's like no more than like $200, $300. If I get a wait, if I, I think I possibly, I might can get it waived. I'm not sure, but I just thought that if I just pay out of pocket just to get the case going and then get a lawyer, I think that I don't, I, that's what I'm thinking to start the case. Okay. Um, so your question is, should you just start the case with a lawyer or should you start it on your own paying the fee? Yeah, just to like the paperwork, but you know, the court processing fee. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, when I ask this question two ways, when I say, should she pay the processing fee and go that direction? Or then I ask the second question, should she just start with a lawyer? I get a yes. I feel like it will be in your best interest, even financially, to just start with a lawyer. Because if you make um, a misdeed on the paperwork, I think there are going to be other costs and the lawyer will push everything faster further and marla how 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 do you feel yeah i heard the words uh, just get it going that's what i heard just get it going and and i think you're going to feel better because you want this thing court cases and stuff like that we always want to get this thing rolling and get it behind us because it's something about the frequency the energy of it is always uh, it just it brings us down, and so uh, this I feel like what you'll get the momentum around it, and it's going to go well. And you just take control, and you know that that money is going to come back to you somehow, and uh, it's it's not going to it's not going to make a huge impact. So okay. um, you, know, you send a two or three hundred. That's just what's coming through. So, and I do feel like whatever this is, you're going to be victorious. But you, what I'm it's I just I want to say when filling out the paperwork if if you're going to do that on your own at least go to a place like legal aid where they will assist you over just filling it by yourself or get a lawyer and do it that way but just just like like Marla said, just get it started. Don't put it off anymore. Okay, love? Okay. And yes, and you're right. I can have one of the I already started talking to one of the free lawyer the, the free I mean to the the, the um 
attorney at the um the free attorney at the court, so he helped me with it. But I was just going to do a walk in with the paperwork, and I was going to have him to help me fill out the paperwork, like you mentioned, and then I can go to the just to start to, just to get things going. But oh. I hope that. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to take your advice. <laughs> okay, thank you, love. Your okay. I hope I hope that was helpful right. for you. you. Okay. We're going to go online and answer a question. And the question is from, I, I believe his name is, his name is Al. It's Mysterio. And he wants to know, um, hi, Tony, any message from the afterlife on my love life? I have a free, female friend that lives in another country that has potential. My first name is Al. I instantly hear no. I instantly hear this isn't going to go in the direction or the way that you want it to with this female from the other country. I feel like it's going to be more problematic than you think it is. And there are going to be a lot of um, potholes or catches. Now, having said that, I'm also going to say, um, Al, can you please tell Marla and I where where do you reside right now? What state do you live in? And Marla, while he's doing that, do you have anything you would like to say to him? Yes. Hi, Al. So I got the same thing as Tony. Um, I pulled some cards around it and it feels like, even though it seems like some potential, um, it would be a, somehow a disappointment. It would fall, up, fall apart. The tower card comes in also the, the eight of cups, which is kind of walking away a little disappointed. And then even even the, the ten of swords, it would just feel like, oh, it's just not. And it's just, just disappointment. But but, uh, but good news is the four of, of swords comes in and, and just encouraging you to take some time out for yourself. There's some things they say, the spirit guides are saying, there's some things that you need to do. I don't know if it's cleaning out a garage, if you've got closets that you've shoved stuff into or tying up things that you should tie up or clean up in your life, get that frequency higher, and then the page of cups comes in with a surprise in your love life. And I feel like it's going to be someone closer to your town. Ten, They're saying 10 to 20 miles away from where you live, so it's going to happen to be closer, but they're saying get some things cleaned up that you know and I'd love a confirmation if you could if there is some untie unfinished stuff that you need to do that would make things better that would make things more um I don't know you know what I mean cleaned up is what I'm hearing yeah and Marla I just want to confirm what you're saying because while you were talking or you know reading the cards right as I said Marla what would you if would you I heard um and I'm really sorry to say this. I feel like this person from the other country, there's something going on with this person that I don't, I'm going to use this word, but don't think of it in the traditional way. I feel like, first of all, this person isn't being completely honest. I feel like I see a lot of other people around this situation. I don't know if this has something to do with money or attention but I feel like this person is definitely in a space where they are, <clears throat> I'm just going to say they are, um, this is very convenient and I keep hearing the word using and that might be where the 10 of swords and the um, healing comes in when you find out that this person's intentions are not honorable and that they don't have your best interest at heart. They're just very self, they're, they're, what I'm actually picking up, and I try to be very gentle in these situations, I feel like this person is very self-serving and really doesn't have a lot of concern, genuine concern. And I do see a male, if, I, what I'm seeing is, this person and then a male standing behind her. Now, the male could be a father, but the person you're interested in has a male standing kind of like next to them, behind them. It could be a father, uncle, brother, any of that stuff. However, I feel like it's someone who is really 
in charge of this whole situation or transact. Oh, it's funny that they use the word transaction. Whatever that means for you. Al, I hope that was really helpful. I hope that you understood that message and that, that it helps you. Um, so Marla, we have uh, quite a few questions on YouTube and we have one more question one or two more callers that we could take. Do you have a preference? Do you want to go to caller or do you want to go to YouTube question again? YouTube question. Okay, perfect. Um, and because you're the guest, you're the boss. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Lolly wants to know, does my college boyfriend have any, oh, I lost Lolly. Does my college boyfriend have any messages for me? His name was Brian, Byron, not Brian, Byron. Is Byron. Is Byron. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank goodness Marla thank can you. read the questions on YouTube also. Okay, so do you want to go first or should I? Um, well, it says his name is Brian. So I'm, oh, well, I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming he's passed away. Does my college boyfriend yes. have any messages? I guess. But, yeah, um, his name is B-Y-R-O-N, Byron. Okay, and he has passed away. Byron. He's yeah. on the other side, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Tony. I'll go second. Okay. Byron, yippers. Um... The okay, so the first thing, Lolly, that I'm hearing is a song, and it's that song, Sun and a Good Time. And I, I don't know the words, I'm just hearing Good Time. I feel like this guy was always up for a good time. I feel like he, he might have been a little bit fun. He was like, uh, never took on the outside, seemed like he never took anything seriously. Oh, it just got really cold in here. Um, the biggest message he would want to say to you is this weird statement of, I want to make sure I can, I'm not going to get this. Um, I'm not going to get this correct. I know it's a statement people make, but it's like hang loose, but it's stay groovy or something like that. Some weird thing. He, some weird catchphrase he used to always say, but then the, the next thing he would want to say is, um, um, I don't want to sing that song. Oh, I'm the worst singer. Um, take time. -na 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 -na. I can't even, I can't, I can't even get the words. I can't get the, all the words. So if you know it, I hope you know it. Please don't make me sing any more of it. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to say as a message is, um, and I hope this makes sense, beer bongs. Marla, on to you. Beer bongs. <laughs> okay. Beer so bongs. Like Lolly, I tell me about the beer bongs. Feels. Go ahead, Marla. It, it, it feels like he was like had a, like a teddy bear. I'm getting teddy bear, bear. I don't know if you had a little bit of a bigger bill, but and and he's trying. He's saying, you know what? He liked. He's saying that he liked to eat. He liked to enjoy. He liked to taste. To taste food, drink, um, he's showing me even playing cards, games, and so he wants you to continue that, do not, if you're ever feeling a little bit down, just say, hey, he's saying, hey, I'm okay over here, everything is groovy, everything is great, it's just fine, and it's the people that's left behind that grieve, but really, we are just moving into another dimension, it's okay, and he wants to see you, he's going to enjoy that when he sees you sitting down to a nice meal, or really enjoying everything you do, because he was kind of a bon vivant, and he enjoyed uh, things, he really enjoyed that tactileness of, of being in the body and being in life, and that's what he's wanting uh, to encourage you to continue to do. Lolly, I hope that was help. Uh, and it was Byron. Thank you for confirming that. Um, we really appreciate it. We hope that. And I did also get that he had a little bit of a belly also. Um, I want to go to David's question. Um, thank you for joining the show, David. Don't forget to follow so that you know every time we come live, but I'm I'm sure you already have. And you're, it's your lucky night. You have Marla and I both here. Um, he lost his, 
I would like to know if my beautiful friend and love, Tara, who passed a few months ago, knows I love her, of course, with all my heart and how much I miss her. She can feel your feelings as well as kind of, um, they communicate telepathically over there, David. And I, it's really important for me to answer this question because I think everybody has this question when somebody passes, do they know? Yes, they feel our crying and our heartache and they they hear our thoughts of what we wish we would have said and and all that stuff. And I know Marla knows that too. Passed a few months ago, um, knows I love her with all my heart and how much I miss her. She does. Is her spirit with me? Will we be reunited someday? And then David goes on to say, I've been very depressed and sad. David, we're going to do a clearing right now for depression, all depression, all the cause of gifted. Yeah, you have. For those of you only listening, I am not smoking. That is just me trying to breathe, clearing. It's like he can't catch his breath. He's so depressed. Um, it's like a big punch to your heart. That's what this feels like. Um, he's so he's so depressed that Tara is not here on this planet with me. She's not just my best friend. She's my angel. Um, she knows that you felt this way when she was here and even now. So I've answered those questions. I'm going to let Marla give an answer because I did give somewhat of an answer. So I answered as I was going, but, but Marla, go right ahead. And I'm going to continue to do some clearing work on this for you and everybody listening. Okay. Okay. Yeah, David. So I just lost my mother on um, September 6th and uh, I had her for 61 years and I know how you feel. It's just a shock. It's uh, such a void. Um, it's, it takes a while. Allow yourself to grieve, allow yourself to cry, uh, move the body, take care of yourself. And Tara, she's, um, when we say, well, they're off the planet, they're out of the meat suit. And I was looking at myself in the mirror. I'm 61 now. And I was looking at myself in the mirror today and I thought, ah, uh, you know, we don't really care for, to look at the wrinkles and I'm not as pretty as I was. And I'm like, you know, but, uh, but I'm like, well, this, and then I got in the shower and I said, but this, this is just a costume on loan. I'm a spirit. I'm an eternal spirit. And that's what Tara's kind of coming through reminded. She's reminded me of that that I was just saying that this is a, uh, a costume on loan that we all are, are just, it's a loner for all of us. And she's just as alive as she always was. And she is with you. You can talk to her and she hears you. You can ask her signs. She showed me some marbles, uh, you know, those just marbles, you know, marbles. And then, uh, and then roses. And I don't know what if that significant means, but she's um, showing you that maybe that's going to be a sign for you from her. But she will give you signs. She is there, and she she could be a very powerful guide for you. And you could try some automatic writing, sitting down, breathing, and connecting with her, and then just getting your brain kind of out of this out of, off to the side staying clear like an empty head almost and just let whatever comes through come through on the word document or by hand and she'll give you some messages and and she says it is a beauty she says it is a beautiful transition when you transition back into the all that is it's a higher frequency things are so beautiful she's showing me these colors purple and beautiful beautiful colors over there so she's absolutely fine and she want also she's laughing she said something about comedy comedy club um, have fun. She wants you to laugh. She wants you to laugh, whether that's p pulling up your favorite comic on YouTube or going to a comedy club because she's poking your, she's poking your rib, kind of tickling you. So I hope that helps. David, thank you so much for reaching out to us. And oh, we... says, I brought roses and carnations to her grave on oh. Sunday. Okay. So she saw that. She, oh, yes. Oh, okay. I she love that. that. Thank you. the roses. Thank you, thank you, thank you, David, thank you. for that thank confirmation you. and letting Marla know yeah. that. Um, Marla, I want to take Aww. one more caller if we have time. I think we do. So here we go for the last caller. Okay. 262, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Kathy from Waukesha. Hey, Kathy, how can we help you today? I, you know, I have so many questions and I'm just going to go with the one that is probably more on my mind and it seems to be like there's this um uh common theme tonight 
I lost my husband eight years ago, and I've been thinking about dating again, and it scares it scares me to death. And um, do you think it would be okay? So I'm actually going to start with this one. Um, I'm going to start this and Marla, you can pick up it. And we only have five minutes on the phone. So we're going to make this super quick. And I'm, I'm sorry, the time is so short. Absolutely. Um, it's past time for you to get out there and start again. The sooner you get out there, the better it's going to be for you just to preoccupy your time and not to just be like, kind of sitting, you, you need to break your pattern, break your pattern, break your pattern, get out, go out, do, um, don't, don't meet, excuse me, don't meet people online is what I'm getting, don't do the online dating, don't do the, that sort of thing, get out and meet people where you can meet them organically, and I'm getting some really specific things here, the things I'm getting is like join leagues, like a bowling league, a pool pool shooting. That is not how people shoot pool. And I know if you're watching, laugh at me, but pool, shooting pool, go out and join leagues and you're going to be so happy and you're going to meet people, but make sure whatever you're joining, you enjoy. Um, I really get that bowling one so clearly and a couple of other things you can do. Um, that will be very helpful. And and I'm going to give it to Marla because we are, are so short on phone time. Then we're going to answer oh. one or two okay. more online quest, uh, chat questions. But Marla, go ahead. Okay, yes, absolutely. So this is so so exciting. Uh, the King yeah. of Cups comes up and that's um, oh. uh, on top of the Page of Cups. The King of Cups is your uh, husband and he's there on the throne, like sitting there overlooking. And the Page of Cups is a surprise. It's a surprise. Somebody coming in, he wants to help you find somebody because he knows that once you go over to the other side too, every it does. it's not like here where you're jealous. Oh, you're cheating or you're with somebody else. I can't it's, believe you moved um, on. It's, yeah. it's, we need to have love and somebody when we're here and he wants you to do that because he doesn't want you just to continue mourning and being alone he's going to send you a quality man so be open to it and it's and the name david came up i don't know if that means anything to you but keep that in mind and, and also he's okay. oh. he's saying be discerning don't just take the first yahoo that comes along make sure that you are <laughs> okay, yeah make sure you're being very particular and he is also saying he wouldn't have had the strength to wait as long as you did. So please, <laughs> you're making him look bad. Get back out there. Get back out there. So that's what he is saying. I hope this was helpful for you, um, love. I yeah, really sure. am so grateful we got your call today. Thank you so much. You are welcome. You are welcome. You're so welcome. Okay, Marla, thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for you being able to pop on tonight. Thanks, Tony. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.